Hey guys, today we're going to be making a modified fishtail paracord bracelet. This idea is based off of JD Lenzen of Tying It All Together. He has a video called a Stitched Switchback Strap Bracelet, but since it is so similar to the fishtail, we're just going to go with that name. For this project, all you're going to need is 8 to 10 feet of 550 paracord, and then our tools of a scissors and a lighter. Let's dive right in. They started making fun of me here because I like this wrap so much, but it really is easy. All you've got to do is pull on the ends to unravel it. We'll link to that video in the description. This bracelet is going to use a knot and loop closure. So what I'm going to do to start it off is just fold over a little bit of the cord, you know, maybe six inches or so. And then we're just going to tie an overhand knot with that loop. You can dress it nice so it sits flat. And if you don't want to waste cord, you can feed that end back through the knot. But I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm just going to stick it in this loop to tuck it out of the way. You want the loop to just be big enough to fit your finger through, and that should be about the right size for a knot later on. All right, so then we're going to make the length of our bracelet. And we just want to make sure that it's going to be longer than our wrist measurement. It doesn't have to be exact at this point. So I'm using about almost a foot here, just looping the cord back on itself. So then we'll come back to our end with the knot, and we'll bring our working end underneath that end with the knot, so that they cross over like this. Then we're going to start like we would be making a fishtail, and we'll bring it down through the middle. And we would just keep doing that pattern back and forth if we were actually making a fishtail. But with this modified one, we're just going to bring it then all the way over the top, back to the right side. I'll bring it up a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see. Make sure it's focused on the right spot. So now we're going to take our cord, wrap it downward, and then we're going to come up through this hole here. I'll do that once again if you didn't see it. We'll tighten that one down, right up against that knot. Now with our cord, we're going to wrap it straight down through the middle and back around to the left side. So now we've got that first bump of the bracelet that you saw on the thumbnail. So now once again, we're going to bring it all the way over the top. that, wrap it around to the back, and bring it up through this loop right here. So your loosened knot looks like this. And we'll tighten all that down, shove it up right against that first knot, and then straight down through the middle of our bracelet. So there's our pattern. We'll just keep it that until we've made it the length we need. You want to leave a little bit of extra room on your bracelet for the, the knot at the end, but we want the length of the bracelet to so you want to stop your weave right before you get to your loop. And then at the end, we'll be pulling the cord back through so that this will actually be the end of your bracelet. So the length doesn't matter right now. Just do as much weave as you need to fit around your wrist, and then we'll be tightening it from there. Alright, so we got a good portion of our weave done. It now just reaches the, the loop on the other side. So I'm going to call it quits there. And to end it off, I'm just going to put my cord down through the middle. 
We've got our loop here. It's a little bit twisted up, but that should be fine. So our cord is down through the middle, and now we're going to... I had you tie this knot earlier, um, but we're actually going to be using this as our pull cord to tighten things down, so we'll have to retie that knot. Um, but you needed the knot there to tell how long your bracelet was going to be. I'm going to go ahead and untie this knot so that I can have a little bit more to grab onto. There we go. So the other end should look about like this. This loop here is the one that we just tightened down with our cord that we threaded through the loop at the very end. So you can make sure it's all tight before you retie your knot on that end. So again, we're just gonna tie a simple overhand knot. Leave a loop and retie like that. I'm just going to feed that cord through so that my knot is right up against my bracelet weave. The loop is a little bit big at this point, so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. There we go, fitting around our finger again. And tighten that down. You can use a decorative knot here if you like, but I'm just going to leave that overhand knot. All right, so now we'll, we'll again clip off our couple inches of cord here. All right, and then on this end, we're gonna be using the single strand diamond knot. You could also use an Ashley stopper knot if you like. That's probably a simpler one. Um, we covered the diamond knot in a different video. We'll link that in the description, but we'll cover it again quickly here. Start by making an overhand loop, followed by another one to get this pretzel shape. And then we're going to be going back to the left, going over, under, over, under. So over the first one, underneath the second, over the third, underneath the fourth. Until we have these three loops. Then we're going to bring this cord back to the right side going over our standing end, and then back to the left again, starting with over, under the next two, and then just up through the middle. Now we've got this four lobes to our knot. We'll go ahead and tighten that down. You want to be careful tightening this because it can capsize and not tighten correctly might take some feeding through the individual cords to get all the slack to where it needs to go. Before you tighten it all the way, we want to get the knot back down here. So start by feeding first cord through, and then just following it all the way through the knot. There's our knot doll cinched down right next to the bracelet. So now all that we've got to do is clip the end of that and melt it. And now our loop goes through, or I mean our knot goes through the loop, and our bracelet is done. If you want to know what this rather interesting color is, it's called veggie soup. Um, some people are not a fan, but it's actually one of my favorites. It's kind of got a camouflage color with some subdued blues and oranges in there. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. We put out tutorial videos twice a week for paracord projects and just simple knot tutorials. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick around.
We'll put links to the supplies in the description where you can buy paracord and also those other links that we mentioned throughout the video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.